Hey everyone, John Marion here. Today I went to Governor's Preserve and took some videos of building lots and home sites that are available throughout the subdivision. Please call me or text me if you have any questions or want any information about any of the new homes for sale at Governor's Preserve or any of the home sites that are available to have your custom home built in Governor's Preserve. Hey, John Marion here with Remax Town & Country. Today I'm in Governor's Preserve and I'm just checking out some building lots that are available in, in the subdivision. So uh, take a ride with me, uh, take a tour with me, and I'm gonna show you some of these building lots. This 0.85 acre lot is at the end of the cul-de-sac on Walker Court. And you can see it here in the cul-de-sac at the end of the road. And down the road, there's a few more subdivisions, uh, more building lots on the right. I'm gonna do a quick drive-by of those and show you the lots that are available on this street uh, before I go on to some of the locations in Governor's Preserve. So here are two more building lots that are available on Walker Court. Actually, three. I'm gonna go over to that one in just a minute. But the one behind me uh, is available and you could see it's before you get to the end of Walker Court in the cul-de-sac. And then the one across the street is also available. So if you have any questions about any of the lots that are available anywhere in Governance Preserve, uh, contact me and I can uh, give you whatever information you want about these two lots or any other lots. Okay, so this building today. lot is available and you can also get a custom built home on this lot uh, with Barber Homes uh, who will build a home here. Uh, but this lot is also available for sale if you just want to buy the lot as well. And uh, I oriented the sign a little bit. I switched the orientation because it's getting a little bit overgrown with weeds here. Uh, and if you want information about any of the lots here, um, definitely text this number and I will get your information and contact you. But if you want specific information about this lot in particular, text uh, code 1003 to 770-766-7340. And um, Sandra and I are uh, a team with Remax and we'll get that information to you. You'll get instant information about this lot and the home that we're marketing for sale on this lot. Uh, but I'll also follow up uh, with more information if you want about all the lots and any of the lots available. Okay, so here I'm in on the preserve. top of this lot uh, that I just showed you the text rider for. So when you come up here, it's a really nice building site, home site, where this home will be built. And uh, as you can see, it looks like it'll be a pretty nice view when this home is built. This will be the view off your front porch. So this one's pretty nice. The driveway will be a little bit steep. Um, not too bad, but just keep that in mind. You have to do drive up a little bit. Some people don't mind, other people do. That's why I want to point it out to you. Uh, but I'll show you more lots here and you may find a lot. If you don't like this one, there may be others that you will Okay, like. and here's another lot behind me on uh, Walker Court. Uh, so I'm kind of at the beginning of Walker Court. The stop sign is, is right over there, but you can uh, get an idea of what, uh, what the street is like. And, uh, and that's the beginning of Walker Court and the cul-de-sac is down there where I just came from. Uh, so anyway, here's a building lot. Uh, give me a call. I'd be glad to uh, tell you about all the opportunities to have a new home built here in Governor's okay, Preserve. Okay, so I'm at one of my favorite uh, building lots in Governor's Preserve. This one has is surrounded uh, by green space in the back and the left side of the lot as you look at it. And uh, just so you know, we our brokerage has this listed for sale. Uh, Barbara Homes will build a custom-built home on here. And the only neighbor is to the right. And you can see it's... That home is over there and virtually, you know, cannot be seen from uh, this lot when you're back on the lot. Uh, maybe in the fall when all the leaves are gone, maybe you can tell that there's a house uh, next to you. And then just give you a quick view of across the street. Uh, there is a home and homes down the other street there. So uh, this is one of my favorite lots, surrounded by lots of green space. Uh, you have walking access to the Etowah River from your backyard if you walk down the trails. Uh, so uh, this before is I leave awesome uh, my favorite lot on Griffin Way in Governor's Preserve, 
I just want to mention, I'll post another link. I made another video when I was back on the lot a couple of months ago where the house site will be on the lot. And uh, I'll post a link below, so take a look at that if you want more information about this particular lot. And definitely call me, text me, email me, and I'll be glad to provide any information you want about this lot or any of the Okay, I'm gonna go into you. the section uh, here at Governance Preserve where there's building lots available and home sites for a custom home to be built by Fisher Homes. And I'm gonna show you a few okay, of Okay, so lots. I'm standing in front of lot 495, and people have asked me about this. Uh, so this is a home site for the Paxton floor plan uh, on a basement, actually. So uh, this is lot 495. I wanted to give you a view of that. There is an existing home right next door, and then there is a never, another uh, building lot on the other side uh, right there. And it uh, looks like there's a sold sign on that one. Uh, so this one is available. Uh, the Paxton floor plan on a basement will go on this lot. Actually, just some clarification, uh, the Paxson plan may not be the only floor plan that's, that uh, will go on this lot, but I wanted to make the point that the Paxson floor plan on a basement uh, is suitable. This lot is suitable okay, for so that Okay, so I'm at the, um, the cul-de-sac here, lot 460. We'll be back there, kind of, I think, where the, um, the black pickup truck is parked down there. These guys are working, so I don't really want to go in down there and get in their way and, and uh, cause them any delays in their work schedule. Or, Work that they're trying to do. These guys are working hard out here in the heat. Uh, so anyway, uh, lot 460 is right back here in the in the um, in the cul-de-sac, and all those tall trees that you see back there uh, is green space. Uh, there's no way, really, uh, that that will ever be developed because it's green space that backs to the Etowah River, and then you know on the other side there's green space on over there as well. Uh, so this would be like probably some of the most private backyards in Governor's Preserve. Uh, there are others as well, but in this new section that is being built by Fisher Homes, this cul-de-sac uh, is really nice if you're looking for privacy and virtually have no neighbors ever in the back okay, so behind I want to show you lot 473. Uh, this lot will work uh, for the Paxton floor plan. And you can see there will be homes uh, that will be visible from the backyard, but there's some trees there, and in the fall, uh, I mean in the, uh, not in the fall, if there are more trees that are planted later, uh, those houses could virtually disappear. But it's uh, not quite in the cul-de-sac, but right at the end of the street. It's a very private back here, and uh, all that's green space where you see those taller trees way back there. And uh, I believe the Etowah River is on the other side of that green space. So, um, over in this direction right here, the Etowah River kind of curves around Governor's Preserve, the entire neighborhood, and then even the lots over there have uh, green space behind them that back to the Etowah River as it goes around the neighborhood. So, lot 273, I mean 473, this lot right here that we're looking at, uh, this lot is suitable for the Paxton floor plan. Okay, so I'm back in Governor's Preserve again today. Um, Here's a building lot on Harmony Drive. And uh, this one's just about a half acre lot. Actually, it's, it's over half acre, it's like 0.6. And um, just trying to give you some perspective here. It's a little bit grown up with weeds, as you can see. Uh, but I believe uh, all the area, the road frontage uh, that's manicured as well as these tall weeds is uh, the road frontage for this. Uh, for this lot the best I can tell with the tools that I have so um, anyway if you're interested in uh, this lot or any of the lots in Governor's Preserve give me a call uh, I'm going to take a look inside uh, the tree line there to see which type of lot this is I think it's probably might the terrain might be kind of like where that house is where it's up a little bit uh, but it looks pretty level uh, so I don't know what the situation is with this lot but I'll if you call me, I will get more information and uh, definitely do the research so that you know Okay, more so a little bit lot. more about this lot. I just walked on there to uh, take a look. I don't want to film while I'm standing on the lot uh, because where I'll, I'll be posting this. So um, anyway, there is a house site that's cleared. Uh, so the terrain is that it goes down and then they cut an area for, it looks like for a basement. So the house site will be kind of right here, very level front yard and then you'll have a backyard. And then the side yard is uh, very steep that goes down. Uh, so 
that will always be private uh, on, on that side of the house. So as you're looking at the house that will be built here, to the left of that, uh, you'll have this wooded privacy area. And uh, anyway, nice, nice lot. If you like privacy, uh, this is a good one. So give me a call or text me and I'll be glad to get more information about this lot and the pricing. And this might be the best one for you. So whichever lot you want. Okay, so here's a couple know. of building lots on Vandeveer Court. And they're right across from each other. And these are available. So if you want to know anything more about the lots on Vandeveer, uh, give me a call and I'd be glad to let you know about uh, the location of these lots. And you can see, just to show you some of the houses and the terrain on this street. And the cul-de-sac is right down there.